guys welcome to DTWG ED prep okay so in today's video uh, is about coordinate plane and I'm going to be showing you how to plot points on a coordinate what grid okay this is a coordinate grid so I'm going to show you how you can plot your points on a coordinate grid okay because you know um, for questions on that slope before you get to slope you must know how to plot your points on your coordinate grid and that's um, where we're, that's what we're going to look at okay and if this is your first time on this channel please 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 subscribe to this channel and click the like button and also share this uh, video with your friends family and loved ones and don't forget to click the notification bell to be instantly notified when we have an educational video to help you prep for your GED okay this channel is to support you in in getting that your GED and guess what you can still get that your GED this year 2020 we still have three months left so you can still do it okay and I'm with you all the way all right okay so um, let's go on to the video now so how do you plot your points on a coordinate grid now this is a coordinate grid I'm going to ex quickly explain this then we'll plot some points together all right so a coordinate grid is just um, a way to locate points that lie in a plane okay that's or a flat surface and this coordinate grid is made up of two intersecting lines okay you can see a line here which is called X and you can see another line here which is called Y so your Y is vertical Y your um, X is what horizontal and you can see this is likened to the number line where you have your positive numbers to your right and your negative numbers to your what your left you can see this too for your y you have your positive numbers upward and your negative down uh, numbers downward all right so um and where these two lines intersect which is this point okay this point is called what your origin okay okay so it's called the what origin okay this point where it is zero where y and x intersect is called your origin okay where this is what your y axis as i said earlier on i'm just explaining what this co coordinate grid is so we can plot uh points okay and um uh, in plotting your points okay um there's a way it's done in maths all right you have two other pair okay where you see this you see two brackets and you you must you must have seen a number here let's say minus one and two okay where this first number here is x and the second one is what y that's the value of the a, a number that falls on the x axis and a value that falls <coughs> excuse me that falls on the what y axis all right so this is called what an ordered word pair okay so of a particular point on the coordinate grid now let's say for example we are told to what um, it says the right let me just quickly just uh, says right the ordered pair for points A and b okay so let's say um you're given a coordinate uh, grid and uh, a question in your ged math test and let's say um, this point is what a and you have another point down here which is what b okay so it says write the pair for points a and b so so it says write the ordered pair for point A and B. So this is point A on the coordinate grid and this is point B. That's for our example and this is point B on the coordinate grid. And as I said earlier, to write the ordered pair, let's say for A, okay, for point A, all right? So what will be X from here? You trace down to the X axis. All right as you see the to write the uh, in writing the uh, odd as you see writing the other pair the first value would be your what x so this point where does it fall on the x axis so you trace it down so it falls on what minus four so we are going to write a minus four here then where does it fall on the y axis so we trace it to the y axis this is the y axis y this is what x axis okay so it falls on what three 
So this is the other pair of what point A minus 4 comma 3. You separate them with what a comma. Don't forget, you put it in a parenthesis and separate the numbers with a comma. Okay, so this is the coordinate point of what A. Alright, so what is the coordinate point of what B? Okay, so on the x on the uh, first of all on the x axis we write B, then we put a parenthesis just put your comma immediately for b we trace b to the x axis don't forget the first axis you have to write is what your x axis so we we'll trace it to x so what value it, what value is it it is what three okay this is from zero to what three all right so this is what three so we write a three here then for your y axis we we'll trace it to the y axis okay and we have a word minus four so it is what minus four so this is the coordinate point of what b okay don't forget your y axis you know what may mostly confuse your people on the coordinate plane is the direction of the y axis and x axis don't forget your y axis is always what vertical y your x axis is always what horizontal and where they intersect is what your origin which is what zero okay so now let's do another example so it's another example says point p is located at bracket minus three comma one and point q is located let me bring this downward at comma three minus what three so it says plot this point on a coordinate sorry coordinate what grid okay so we have to plot this point point p and point q on a coordinate what grid let's let me erase this others that we've done here okay so clean this up okay so what to what plot these two points point p and what point what q on the coordinate what grid all right so for point p it says it's located at minus three and one so it means this minus three will be on the x axis don't forget what we just did here and one would be on the what y axis so we go to the x axis where is minus three this is minus three okay and we go to the y axis where is one this is what one so we all trace it and let both of them meet so this is one and this is what minus three so it meets at this point okay so this is how you plot a point on a coordinate what grid so you have minus three here and one so this is what point p which is bracket what minus three comma one okay now it says and point q where is point q point q is located at what three and minus what three so three the first uh, value here is what on the x axis remember please and why the second value here is what on the what y axis so we go and trace the x axis we have three okay this is three all right on the y axis we have minus three and this is what minus what three so we trace to meet let us meet them up so we'll just trace a line so they can what meet okay so this is the point here all right so this is the point three and minus three so point q is what three comma minus what three okay so this is how you locate uh, points on a coordinate what grid let us do one more let's say we have uh, another point let's just do two more example we are told to locate point uh let's say point q comma we have uh, uh five comma uh six okay and uh points um point um okay okay we just did q so uh pqr let's say this is rs so point s we have uh minus five comma four all right so let's trace this um let's um, get this point on what our coordinate what grid okay
So uh, for point R5, 5 which is the x axis and 6 which is what the y axis. So we go to the x axis, where is 5? This is 5. And we go to the y axis, where is positive 6? Sorry, positive 6. And this is what positive 6. So we trace this up. Okay, you just have a pencil there. You trace this up and they meet right here. So this is what point, what arrow, which is what? 5 and 6. This is that the coordinate point of what point, what arrow. Okay, so now for point S, which is what? Minus 5 and 4. This is what? On the x axis, y, y is on the what? Uh, uh, y4 is on the what? Y axis. So we go, where, to, where is the x axis? This is x axis. And where is the negative 5? This is negative 5. And where is your um, y axis? This is y axis. And this is your positive 4. So this is a positive 4 here. So we'll trace, trace this here. And they would meet up what? Here. So this is what point what S. Okay, that's minus 5, comma 4. So this is how you would plot points on a coordinate grid. Alright, so thank you for staying tuned to this video. The next um, video will be on graphing a line. Alright, so please um, make sure you sub so please make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this channel with your friends, family, and loved ones preparing for the GED math math preparing for the GED math test. Okay, and don't forget Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. In him, you find peace, joy, and happiness. All right? Okay, and fulfillment in life. So thank you, thank you. From DTW Tutorials, you are destined to win. See you in our next video. Bye.